and explaining why we're scaffolding assignments or doing different things to, to get them to make logical decisions. I think sharing those secrets with students is part of the problem. Um, they need to recognize um, that they may make decisions, but they may not always understand how they arrived at those decisions, and we can help them learn that. Um, so, you know, whether we're, whether we're drawing a conclusion using a classical form of reasoning or alternative reasoning or conditional reasoning or categorical logic or um, Boolean, applying Boolean um, logic to, to make determinations, generalizations, we make analogies, whatever those, some of them are more suitable to different disciplines. So, for instance, in the sciences, they use empirical reasoning, um, they use conditional reasoning. If this, if, um, if this happens, then this will happen, and you pose a hypothesis. And that's natural for the sciences to be able to draw the types of conclusions or uh, implications that they're trying to reach. However, if you're teaching in computer systems, or you're teaching students about how computers think, then um, Venn diagrams and categorical logic makes more sense because it, it suits the content. And so, again, that's part of that conversation that we need to have is what am I trying to teach and what form of reasoning or critical thinking works best? My first thing is come together and have conversations. Have conversations with your fellow teachers, with your administration, um, and, and with your students, you know, don't, don't assume that they know that you're trying to think, teach them to think critically. Help them see that, that you're not just giving this as busy work, that there's a purpose here, um, that it helps them learn critical thinking. But those conversations are critical. Um, what does critical thinking mean in your science classroom? What does it mean in my literature classroom? Um, and are, how are we teaching that? How do you teach it? How do you teach it? How do you define it? We need a common definition, um, and then we need to know how, how other people do it. Um, so having defining it, having conversations, and then writing clear, meaningful outcomes, which is something trained teachers uh, get a lot of training in, but there are a lot of people teaching who may not have had formal education courses, that they're content experts. And so um, they can use tools like Bloom's Taxonomy to help them um, formulate those learning outcomes. But first, they need to, we need to have more conversations about critical thinking. Don't assume that everybody else understands what it is and it's just you that's confused because everyone's confused.